Hi, this is Gareth Kentish, and I wanted to highlight in this video how easy it is to be lazy when it comes to internet marketing, but also how difficult it can be to keep a pace with all the new things that are happening. Now, if you run multiple revenue streams to support your online business, such as eBay, Amazon, your own online shops, even managing Facebook groups and creating your own products, it can be, well, like spinning plates, and therefore life can be somewhat of a blur. So the message in this video is to recognize the importance of focus. You may run multiple revenue streams, but it's vitally important that each of these streams represent your business in the best possible light, no shortcuts. And in this video, we're going to focus on eBay. And as I've said so many times before, eBay is nothing short of awesome, not just for selling your products, but also as a marketing tool for your online business in general. But oh, things have changed. In the good old days, one could apply basic techniques to attract viewers to your listings. Using keywords and metadata were the norm to increase your listing exposure. Well, believe it or not, these old techniques can potentially penalize your listings when it comes to ranking. There are new rules on the block and we need to be aware of them. So what are they? Well. There was this famous astronomer called Cassini back in the 17th century. Now he may not have known much about the internet, but it seems that eBay have named their search algorithm after him. And the question is why? Well, with the increased competition, especially from Amazon, eBay has had to focus more on the buyer to make the sell through ratio higher. And we'll cover that later. From the point that the potential buyer enters text into the search box, the Cassini search engine kicks into action. Firstly, it starts to marry up the search text with your product details, but other criteria now comes into play, such as the price of your product and how long the product has been listed on eBay. Now remember, the search algorithm is trying to find the products which are most likely to be sold. So the terms of your postage become very important. Applying free postage to your listings can be a bonus because this inevitably increases the chances of making the sale and therefore raising your ranking. Now consider also the condition and quality of your products. Again, the better the quality, the higher the chances of the sale, the higher the ranking. It's all beginning to make sense. Now let's have a thought on feedback. Maintaining positive feedback and protecting your DSR, detailed seller rating, is critical. This is because the above criteria will help your sell through ratio. This is the ratio which compares the number of views versus the number of sales made. So having a stack of views and no sales could therefore penalize your ranking. And there's more to consider. For starters, consider these items. Make sure you confirm and understand the eBay rules. Ignorance is no excuse. And extend your returns policy. Why? Because it will make your items more attractive for sale and therefore improve your ranking. And list viable items. This will give your listings relevance to your potential buyers. And the results will be that your listings will have higher rankings and appear on top where they should be. Now, you may also need to sort out basic issues, focus on improving your DSR and resolve any outstanding claims immediately. And if you do receive unjust feedback, then ask the eBay customer support team to remove it from your records. It can be done. Remember, an unhappy customer will tell between 8 to 20 people about their experience with your business. It's unnecessary bad PR. So in summary, offer free postage and introduce discounts and extend your return policy. All these things will help your rankings. Here's a question for you. Are good till cancels going to improve your list rankings? The answer is simply no, unfortunately not. What needs to be done here is relist. Cassini prefers new items as they get re-indexed into the search algorithm. And what about using HTML in the item description? Now I'm a big fan of using code, but I avoid taking huge chunks from web pages because Cassini frowns upon this. Be effective and keep it simple. And think about using RSS feeds. So choose a day in the week and switch it off in the evening. And then when you wake up next day, turn it back on because Cassini will then re-index your first 100 items, moving them higher up the ranking. And also consider using auctions in parallel with your listings. And even think about cross-linking to help promote the products that you really want to sell. 
And what is super important is to continue to feed your shop with new items because Cassini loves activity and therefore shoots your listings up the ranking. Now there's a lot to the new search engine, but this all does make sense. It's all about the buyer. I really hope that this has been beneficial and helpful for you. My name's Gareth Kentish and thanks for watching.